Hey guys, it's Billy, Chike, Kent, Robert, and Lauren. And you're watching ATVU.com. been like your time on the show I mean you were on one season and then you got <laughs> injured and then you went back on and you made it really far so kind of a little bit about that yeah um, well I was on season six uh, and I made it all the way to the top 20 in that season and then I came down with mono and I wasn't able to dance because your spleen gets enlarged um, so like your floating ribs are in danger of puncturing it and it was this whole like big thing so I had to withdraw from the competition, but they invited me back to season seven Vegas week. So I came back and it went pretty well. <laughs> and so, I mean, having that knowledge of what it was like from season six and going into season seven, like, how do you think that might have helped you a little bit? Um, it definitely helped a little bit because I, I kind of knew what I was expecting, I guess. <laughs> the element of surprise wasn't so big, but then again, it was huge because it was a completely different show really this year with the All-Stars and only having a top 11 and like the format changing every week and it, it was still equally as crazy. <laughs> and with all the injuries this season, you know, how do you guys like support each other when stuff like that happens and like, do you, know, do you even know why it all happened? Well, I mean, it's definitely just like a wear and tear thing. It, it, when you're dancing this much for this many hours for this long, it, it's gonna happen, it's inevitable. Um, but as far as like the tour is concerned, when someone is injured, we have standby routines that kind of like alternate. So um, people who come to multiple cities sometimes will see completely different shows, which is actually kind of really cool because people will dance more one night and less the next night. So it's it, it's kind of cool to keep us on our toes. And what's been like your favorite routine to perform? My favorite routine to perform is Mad World um, with a day. It's it's just so special and um, Stacy gave us a really, really great present with that and um, it, it's just nice because it's full of choices that I can change each night, mm -hmm. me and a day, and uh, um, it's just, it keeps it fresh, yeah. it, it perform it differently every night. And so like, I read that you have your own little company, so yeah. what are your plans now that this <laughs> show's over with that? Um, well I own Lunch Dance Collective and um, it's a project by project company for dancers transitioning into company work and uh, wanting to get a little bit more experience, uh, as well as for young choreographers. So right now what we're planning on doing is um, I'm doing a solo for Tassandra Chavez's show Traffic, December 18th and 19th, mm -hmm. and then we just got asked to do a double bill with another company out in LA um, for January 22nd and 23rd at Cal State Long Beach. And um, it's really exciting. Basically I'm just creating one new piece and taking an old piece. So it's about 45 minutes worth of choreography, and i um, really, really excited to start creating. But awesome. Other than that, um, I think Mia might have a new project, hopefully, that <laughs> I want to audition for. <laughs> so, yeah, that's just kind of fingers crossed. And speaking of like choreographers and stuff, who was your favorite to work with if you had to pick Ooh, one? It's so hard, just one. Um, I'm gonna... It's so tough between Stacy and Mia. I'm gonna have to say Mia, just because, um, I don't know, there's just something about her that it, it really draws me to her work, and she's such a, an amazing energy to be around, and she pulls so much out of you. All the choreographers do, but, I, but Mia just has this, this something about her, that quirkiness that I, I remember, I, I love watching her stuff. Yeah. I'm, big fan of the show. <laughs> it's always fun. But so lastly, like social networking. What are your accounts and how do you communicate with um, Well, I have a Facebook fan page that you guys are more than welcome to join and we always update it with where I'm at and where I'm teaching and what I'm doing and performing at, as well as my Twitter, which is at Billy underscore Bell. And um, that one I've been using a lot. You can get some cool like music updates. I also have a ping account, which is really cool. I don't know if you've got one yeah. yet. I just created it on iTunes. I haven't really used it, yeah, but I have really one. Yeah, it's really cool because the topic is just music. And like you can follow artists and like other people and like see what music they like, which is really cool. So ping, Twitter, Facebook fan page. Awesome. Well, thank you. Yeah.